How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have Immersed with us and a familiar face, and he can say his name, what he does in the band, and all that jazz. Hey, guys. My name's Archie. Um, I'm the singer in Immersed and Frontman, and uh, great to be here. Great to be here. There we go. Well, I've had Archie on. We were just rehashing some old, old stories about, you know, some older band that he was in at the time, and, you know, it's good to have him back on. Um... I'm going to ask you some familiar questions. I'm going to ask you some questions that I, you know, I'm sure you haven't been asked since you haven't been on the channel for a little bit. But, um, you know, obviously with Immerse, how did that all start? You know, how did that begin? What was the process? You know, you know how it all started and, you know, where you're at now. So um, Immerse was basically a reformation of the previous band that we were mm -hmm. because we moved on to a record label at the time. Um, and basically, we thought that it was right for us to rebrand our image when we did and create a new um, a new image, a new idea, because mm -hmm. it would fit way better with like the new style and the new sound we wanted. We didn't think our old name really carried through as well. Sure. So we wanted to leave that in the past and basically move forward with a new image, a new identity, and that's how Immerse was formed. There we go. And uh, like how has the process been have like old fan like kind of similar to myself i know i've been following immerse stuff uh ever since like the changeover and things um how do you feel like old fans have kind of been receptive of that change and then as well as that like how have the new fans responded to the stuff because i literally just i actually have the tab pulled up i'm list i just finished listening to chemical um so how has that changeover been as like from an old fan to a new like to new band and then also just like garnering new fans because obviously you guys have posted like a ton of music videos and have been really trying to like go at it with immerse yeah um i think they're all behind it like i think a lot of people can appreciate that the old name wasn't as mature as we wanted sure. out of like out of like a band like it was very like what we first thought i mean we were like 16 when we started that band so what it was was like not really what we wanted so i think a lot of people when they saw the new brand name with like immerse and the new ideas we have in it they all were very much behind it because they could tell that it was a much more professional step forward sure um and the new music's gone down great like everybody's everybody who's listened to it has loved it our spotify numbers have almost tripled since we were rocking as immerse um so i think all in all everyone's kind of in agreement they was the right step to do and they've all got behind us which is great we can't ask for more from the people that listen like the fans and that that they just support us in our venture because at the end of the day as much as we do write music for everybody it is our band and we sure. want to push it in a way that we feel is like the strongest direction so uh yeah we yeah big thank you to everyone for sticking with it and like enjoying it still i have to respect it too because like as an interviewer like that is kind of like my thing i love seeing bands kind of like you know from your old band to immerse now like the transition has been really great like just all the songs that have been released up up until this point and then just listening to chemical now like i think the musical journey that you guys have gone through and the kind of maturity that you that i've seen at least in the music aspect of it has been really on point so you know i want to give kudos to you guys because you you know i feel like kind of similarly to like uh, I was talking to a friend yesterday, uh, and we were talking about, like, Bring Me the Horizon. It kind of reminds me of that, like, how they went from, like, being, like, this, like, deathcore sort of band, and now they're kind of doing, like, more, like, hard rock, like, kind of pop-infused stuff. And I feel like you guys are kind of, you know, kind of taking that same mold but putting it on a immerse. So, you know, kudos to you guys because I feel like that's difficult to keep the old fans but also still get new fans. So, you know, that... Oh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah. So, but uh, speaking about Chemical, you guys just released it as of uh, April 20th, as I can see here on Dreambound. Shout-outs to them. They always got some killer bands, so big shout-outs to them. But, um, you know, with the release of Chemical, I could only imagine you get asked this a lot, you know, what uh, is there going to be, like, an album or an EP that people can expect coming up? Is the sound going to kind of keep the same direction as what chemical is going for or you know can you give us any like details on what what might be coming up with immerse so um we're not releasing any major releases at the moment okay. so we haven't got an album or an ep that we're planning kind of what at the moment we're focusing on is almost staying current and effectively releasing like a block of singles 
Okay. So we've got one single going um, now, which is Chemical. We've got another single, which we're going to be announcing soon. I'll give you a little sneak peek. It's called Self Destruct, um, which should be within the next month or two, should be um, coming out as well to follow that up. Uh, in the process at the moment, we've got about three singles that we're writing. Um, and then effectively, we're going to then basically pitch to like labels and stuff like that. Very and that's cool. going to be the plan. And I'll try and get to like a, the next step of the journey for us. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where it is at the moment. We're just happy just releasing singles and playing shows and just trying to really capitalize on like people streaming us and yeah. um, getting new fans in front of us and getting the name out there and stuff like that, basically. Very cool. Um, I have to say that the chorus in this track is phenomenal. And that breakdown was very unexpected. It was like, you know, I, I've, i like I said, I've known you guys for a little bit and that one kind of took me a little off guard. So I will leave a link guys to go check out Chemical. Uh, please go do it. Cause it like, like it was just the perfect mix of like, like earworm, like catchiness. And then also just like a really like hard hitting breakdown. You can't, can't expect much more. This, Real good shit. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. Good to hear. Um, but the next question, Archie, what are some of the bands that are influencing Immerse now, um, you know, in terms of musical stuff or like even the production aspect of things? Um, is there any certain like bands that you guys are vibing with now? Yeah, we've um, we've got a few that we're kind of like, a few that we've like got newer love for and a few that are like old school that are still influencing us massively. Um, so there's a few, a few of the newer ones that we're finding influence from are like, uh, Boston Manor. Nice. Um, I don't know how big they, these guys are. Cause obviously they're so, it's weird. Sometimes fans are big in the UK and in America, they just, that people just don't know them. I yet, love you know Boston I mean? Manor. So, there you know, you know, I got you. Yeah. So Boston Manor, um, the big riffs in that we're loving like sleep token at the moment as well. <sighs> yes. Yeah. So like the big, the big guitar, like heavy amp, like arena sized riffs. That's what we're kind of going for with that. Um, but then we've got old love for like four years strong still and stuff like that. So we're trying to blend all of that into like one sound. And I think Chemical is like a really good representation of that because it's got everything from like riffs to like catchy choruses to like energy. Yeah. And then it swaps away and it's got atmosphere and it kind of it, it embodies everything that we're currently listening to in a track. And um, I think it's a good thing because I really think that Chemical is... I'd say it's the start of us finding our sound. Very cool. Like it's, I think it is like it's definitely the area where we've wrote and we feel like this is it. This is the sound that we want to create. This like big rock metal, but like happy upbeat vibe with it. Yeah, we'll still we'll still write the like the odd like down dark song. We're still a bit <laughs> heavy in there, but we've got a bit of everything. It does. It does feel like a good mix. Like. um it kind of reminds me a lot of like, um, it kind of reminds me a lot of what current Silverstein's doing, like their newest stuff. Yeah. Like it kind of is in that same lane where it's like, damn, this is catchy shit. I love it. And then they could have like a song, like I think they just released a song with like the vocalist from Comeback Kid, you know, and that one's heavy, yeah. sh like that one's more like punk hardcore shit, you know? So I yeah. like that you guys kind of take that aspect of like, you know, again, shout big shouts to Sleep Token. They're fantastic. And Boston Manor. They don't get enough love. So, I, I, you know, kudos yeah, to absolutely. you for saying them. But um, I feel like you guys take a really nice, like, mix of, like, there's even, like, some, like, electronic, like, like beautifulness that's, like, added to the chemical. And then, you know, like, the vocals are really, like, well mixed in the track, too, along with just, like, it just sounds, like, real punchy. And I think, like you said, yeah. the energy aspect of it is just really good. So... If I couldn't chill about Chemical enough, you can go check it out and you can let me know what you think or you can let us know what you think about Chemical, but <laughs> I, I got to recommend it. But um, next question, Archie, who have you been listening to more currently? What's on your like day-to-day -day Spotify, things of that nature? Oh, okay. My Spotify is like a, like a real mix. Like <laughs> my, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, like when people turn around and say they listen to everything i am that i listen to everything i feel yeah so at the moment i've been loving like logic i've really got into Ooh, logic lately okay. I've, I've been i've been playing a lot of him um i've also been playing like yeah like boston manor uh sleep token yeah um oh god who else have i been listening to story so far still because it's summer nice. like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i got you summer. 
Um, oh, that's a hard one. Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, bit of Juice World in there as well. Like, oh, okay. Juice World. I got a wide variety. I, I've also, I, I, like, I always have a phase where I'll go back every now and then just listen to all like the old school Cypress Hill kind of back catalog. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, all right. I got, I got a bit of everything in there, man. It's endless with me. Endless. <laughs> you weren't kidding, man. That's that's great. The new Boston Manor stuff. Oh, and is... Sand Atlantic. Sand Atlantic. Ooh. I've been listening to a lot of those. I'm a big, yeah, I do, I've really got into Sand Atlantic at the moment as well. I think, uh, I want to see they're touring in europe but i i don't know i have to i have to double check on that one i i thought for sure i saw I something about as well <laughs> tour in europe i'm gonna go watch it i'm gonna call the ticket <laughs> <laughs> but uh i yeah boston manor has been killing it i'm really excited for their next release i feel like they've been just on point uk bands i don't know i was talking about this in a previous interview i just did uh recently i was just talking about like international bands have just been i don't know there, there's something else and that's like they they just got something's in their like something's in the water with every <laughs> you, you know, international band they just do it different i don't know like i'm wearing a holding absence shirt you know like oh, you know did so you like, check them out on the um daisy guitar i literally just saw them uh last that was the sunday when we were emailing that's who i went to go see was that day seeker right. uh that was just caskets was also great too um yeah yeah it was just a they're like i said that tour is fantastic so guys if you haven't like hopefully the tour is not over right before this video gets posted but if it is you really messed out on a fantastic tour because that was whew, how, so good how are um how are thorn hill because I, I like thorn hill but i've never seen them oh live. my god they were on point i think yeah i i would argue i would argue they're a better live band than they are on the album I know that's saying. I know that's saying like. I know that's that's like that's some that's some big 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 points. But man, they (laughs) that's a bold statement. But honestly, Jacob as a front man, like I got to talk to him after the show a little bit, and he is just first of all nice. All the guys on that tour are super nice. So big shout outs to them. But um, but Jacob, man, he was just killing it. He's got like the screaming down on point, and then just his singing, like some of the runs he did, like on some of the Thornhill songs that aren't on the record. I was just like, why? Like, I understand, like you're kind of yeah. trying to like keep it a little bit reserved, but like, man was going hard. So gotta give a shout out to all of those bands on that tour. They fucking rocked it. But um, and then of course Dayseeker, they're they're massive. So good good yeah, success yeah. to them. But uh, next question, Archie, another fun one. If you could pick a song to cover, what would it be? Ooh, a cover song. Oh, that's a hard one. Like, a cover of all any time ever or a cover of, like, music that's currently in? Ooh. I, I've, okay, so I know you're struggling. I can see the struggle on your face. Yeah, so I'm going to say cool. I'll, I'll give you two. I'll, I'll allow the two answer. The two answer slot. You can okay. give me one that is of all time. You can give me one that is a current song. Okay, so the first one is a song that we actually used to cover as a band um, in our early days. And I'm going to say this one just because it was like the guarantee, no matter where we would play it or what we would play, or like it just pop off. Like, so that's "Sorry You're Not a Winner" by Enter Shikari. Ooh, yes. Yeah, so we used to. We're, we're we obviously we've been a four piece band. Like a lot of our early influence came from like their hardcore style when oh. they were going heavy with it. That was like our, how we used to love it. Um, so yeah, that that we used to cover that all the time. Like it used to be our set closer, and it's just guaranteed. That's everyone great. Yeah. Mad for Wild. It. Yeah. <laughs> but a new a new song that I'd love to have a cover uh, cover it is "Dirty Rotten Biscuit" off Biscuit's new album. Oh like, man, that song! Oh, I just kill it. The chorus is perfect, man. I love it. Oh man, that would be wild. So, ooh, yeah, ooh, that's a good one. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I feel like you guys could do. I, I feel like you could do it in justice. So, um, yeah, I, I'm definitely it's about that. But guys, if you like Immerse and you live in the UK, make sure to just you know comment below that you would want to see that live. If not, let them know what song you think that they should cover down <laughs> below as well um but next question archie is uh one that i feel like i'm curious to know your answer on um for people who maybe are familiar with immerse or maybe not familiar with immerse uh what would be one song you would recommend them to listen to first in your song catalog 
Oh, I I would probably say Chemical. I think Chemical, even though obviously it's the newest song we've wrote, it's like, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm not just saying it because it is obviously a new song and it's like fresh and stuff like that. Sure. I genuinely sure. think it is our best song we've ever wrote. Like, I genuinely do. I feel like with every release, we're, fit, we're, we're getting more confident, more better. We're getting more comfortable. And I think Chemical is this area where we've just met everything we wanted to create in one sound. If it's not Chemical, then I would probably say Glass House. Like, it's got to be one of those two. I feel like they're probably probably my two that I would I would always go to now. Like, if, if you're going to introduce yourself to Immerse. And I feel like they're good songs as well because there's a lot of people that listen to us that um, we've, like, sort of got into the heavier side of music now. Because because our music, obviously, is a bit of a mix of, like, it's got singing, it's got screaming, it's got yeah, harsh, yeah. but heavy, it's got light. Um, we're a very good sort of, like, gateway band for people to find new, heavier bands if they want to. Sure. Or can necessarily go the other way. And if they don't really like light music, they can get into us and that might branch them into others. So I, that's why I'd say Chemical and I'd say Glass House because there's a bit of everything in those songs for everybody. So you can you can find something you really like in them. Yeah, no, I feel like you guys kind of have that good mix, like I said earlier, of like, there's just like this nice, like, catchy, like, fun, like, energy sort of vibe to it. But then there's also like, like I said, in that breakdown where it's like heavy, it's gnarly, you know, and it's got this real cool, like, like juxtaposition of those two sounds. That I feel like if you like light stuff, you will enjoy those choruses. I feel like you'd be right up the front singing that shit. And then, yeah. like, also, if you're, like, a pitter and you love to just, like, fucking throw down, you got that moment where you could go hard for, like, that, you know, 30-second yeah. bit, you know? So, um, yeah, you guys kind of run that gambit super well. So, um, I, I would also have to recommend Chemical as well. But, I mean, the whole – all of the shit that's on YouTube currently has, is – a one, so go check it out. Um, I will, I will do a pitch to you guys. I would love for you for both your band and I love Super Love. I feel like you guys would fit super yeah. well on a tour together. So I don't know if that would ever well, make it to the states, but that would be very cool. We um, we actually know. Well, I I don't personally, but I believe um. The our bassist and our guitarist Tim and Ben know um, John uh, John John Wargan, I think it is. I I believe so. Uh, the, yeah, they know him. So like I don't know him personally. Uh, I met him once when he was in Lotus Eater pre uh, for a bit. Oh, cool. Because he is he is actually from the same city as a uh, Super Love. We're all we're all in the same city. Oh, cool. Okay. So like it is entirely possible that we would gig together. <laughs> like um, obviously there. They're a much lot. I'd say they're a much larger band than us. They get they're on like a lot different um, shows than that. But yeah, we would absolutely kill to play with Super Love. They're a great band. Like we'd love to go on tour with them. For sure. Uh, getting it over to the states is just another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, That's I could dream. Cool I could yeah. dream. <laughs> I could dream. I just want to make. I just want to put that out there. You know, James, you yeah. do your shit. I just want. You know, I just. I'm just saying. That's what I would be. I would die a happy person if I knew that that existed. But um, next question, Archie, another fun one. I think I remember asking you this the last time, but what is your favorite food to eat? Oh, so I'm really in, I think it's probably changed from last time. So <laughs> yeah. I'm really, yeah, yeah, I'm really into Thai food. At the moment. Ooh, I, all right. I love Thai food. Like, um, uh, funny enough, I was out for lunch with my girlfriend. We ended up having Japanese food, but um, I was saying to her, there was a place in Bristol that used to be open before COVID called Kotai, and uh, it was like, it's like a like a fancy chain. So okay. not like a fast food chain. It's like good food, but they opened like a, a couple of them in like a couple of cities. Sure. Um, and sadly, they all shut down. Uh, but there's one of them that's about an hour and a half away from us, uh, in in a place called Dorset. So I said to my girlfriend that I, I want to book a hotel and come down <laughs> specifically to eat at this restaurant <laughs> because I refuse to like deny the fact that I don't have it near my house. <laughs> so um, I'd say I'd say 100 at the moment it's Thai food or sushi. Like it's one of those two. Wow. All right. That's I think I think it was quite a change. I I want to say I I'm probably gonna just be really trying to just jog my memory this entire interview but i'm pretty sure it was 
I want to say you said some sort of UK dish, and I was like. I'm like I'm wondering if he's going to say the sa- if he's going to say the same thing or go like completely off track. So, I I think I think last time it was it was like Indian, uh I would say it's like Maybe curry. it was, yeah. I it was curry. It was. I think it was curry. Yeah. So, it's like I mean, it's still in the same yeah, area. You're, you're, like, you're kind of curry, like, yeah. you know. It's, it's a different type, you know. <laughs> you're in it's the same realm. Part. I don't think I'll I don't think I'll ever like I I much more prefer like eastern food so to speak to like <laughs> like english or where like I, I always find english food quite boring i don't, I don't mind me that i love a burger i love a pizza I, I love food in general but like something about like like food from like asia and stuff like that i'm, I'm just always in it that's that's my area i go to all, every time i feel that i feel that well i've been getting thai a lot recently in terms of the answers now so now yeah. every time I'm thinking about that, I'm like, man, I would really go for like a good bon mi or like a, <laughs> or like a green curry or something. Oh, yeah, maybe, Massaman maybe is my go-to. I love Massaman curry. That's, all, that's the one. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll have to keep you in mind, Archie, for the next uh, the f- next food excursion. But <laughs> um, the next question, Archie, if you were to pick somebody to collaborate with, uh, whether it be on the producer aspect of the music or a guest vocal on an up-and-coming Immerse release, who would you want to work with? Oh, that's a hard one. So I'll give, I'm will i going to give you a couple of uh, answers. Fair enough. Just because, obviously, our, our music's like got a diverse side to it, so it depends on, like, if we wanted them for, like, a breakdown or, like, a <laughs> feature. So I think if I was going to go for, a, a, a like, a screamer, like somebody who's, like, killing those vocals at the moment, I'd probably go with the front man of Kublai Khan. Oh, Matt, Matt Hunter, he's current. great, yes. Yeah, those, those two. So the front man of people are the front man of currents. I'm not good with names on these guys. Sorry. Um, <laughs> the, my issue is the front man of the band that I would have picked, I'm not going to pick anymore if I'd have gone with clean vocals um, just because of various reasons that have <laughs> happened with this band. <laughs> but um, oh, that's a, the clean singing's a hard one. I'd love to have Lucas from Holden Hampson's feature because I feel like he'd be a great, he'd be a really good um, feature. And I'm actually in his city in Cardiff right now because my girlfriend lives an hour away from me in Cardiff, so I'm currently in his city. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, all the a good one would be the front man of Dance Gavin Dance, the the clean oh, Tillian, Dance Tillian. Yeah. Yes, he'd be he'd be a great one. Yeah, that'd be that'd be. Oh uh, yeah, I'd say those three would be the ones I'd feature or four. Sorry. Okay, I'm 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 about all these answers. I feel like if I had to put my hat in a rank for for this one, what would I what would I what would I feel would be a good one? I feel like the Kublai Khan vocalist would be just nasty in a in a breakdown, yeah, you yeah. know. So we'd have to specifically write some absolutely uh, filthy. <laughs> so I I feel like I want to lean towards that answer, but I feel like Tillian might be the the very odd choice but would somehow work like because your range is kind of like in the middle like you know kind of up like mid highs and he's like up there so i feel like he could like feel like the like harmony between the two like vocals i think that yeah. might be hot so i don't know that's tough but guys if you want to make this happen uh the bit that i've been doing recently is you go on twitter you type in at immerse on twitter and then whatever person you choose, whether it's Tillian uh, from Dance Gavin Dance, Matt from Kublai Khan, or Brian from Currents, just, you know, at, and then do, type in collab and question mark. And then, you know, I don't want to, I want to put it out in the universe, you know, because that's, you know, that's not my thing, but could happen. We might have to, we might have to start a band Twitter now just for that, because we have <laughs> one thing we don't have. We don't have a band Twitter. Well, um, I'll keep an eye on it on my personal one. <laughs> I'll start hashtagging it to see if it comes up. I mean, listen, man, I don't, like I said, I th- crazier things have happened in life, so I feel, you know, I feel like if we put that little, little nugget of wisdom out there, but... Um, little taste, though. Little, little, little taste, little, yeah. Around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tease the audience a little bit, you know, because like if they're truly your fan, I feel like they all, I feel like, you know, I have the confidence to say that they would do that for you, you know. So yeah, for sure. Um, but next question, Archie, 
A question I don't believe I've asked you yet, so I will ask this one. If you were Ooh. to compile a musical supergroup, including yourself, who'd be in your band? Ooh, that's a hard one. So I, I'm going to need a singer in it because I'm not good enough live to play any of the other instruments. <laughs> 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 I can, I can, I can do them. <laughs> I can do them, but um, not well. No, not well enough to do it live. <laughs> but, um, I'd say, I mean, if I'm honest, putting these drummers together, I, the music that they turn, uh, sorry, these people together, the music that they're going to turn out is going to be utterly shite. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it is, it's a super group. Yeah. So I'm going to say. Dan from Architects on drums. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, uh, Flea on bass. Ooh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going, we're going a weird direction. Yes, this. we are. I love Flea as a bassist. It was either him or if it, it was Skylar from Issues. It was one of those Ooh, two. Ooh, that would have been tight yeah. too. Oh. It was one of those two, but I feel like Skylar would have gone a bit like he, he would have matched with Dan, so I wanted to avoid that. <laughs> um, oh. God guitar see guitar's my weak spot because this is where i'm not good with names if you give a band name then i can t i can yeah. probably take a good guess at what their names are oh this is a hard guitar's the hardest one to be honest because weirdly everyone picks up on guitars but it's probably the one instrument that i never seem to pick up on as well in a band um the front man of coheed and cambria but only playing guitar <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, oh man, I know his name too. Shit, I I know it. Um, is, uh, is it Sanchez? Sanchez, Sanchez yeah. yeah. Cla Claudio Sanchez. That's who it is. That's it. Yeah, but he's not singing. He's only playing guitar. Just guitar. <laughs> All right. Or, or actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. Actually, I'm gonna go Wes Borland. Wes Borland on guitar. What? All right. This is okay. So this is this is gonna be some like this is gonna be some like true like new metal. It's gonna be riffy. <laughs> it's gonna be very riffy. Wow! All right. It's be riffy. <laughs> I don't know what music would come out of that, man. Wes <laughs> Borland, Dancer, Flea, on, on <laughs> and you that as the be, front that man. That would be interesting. That would be. Woo. Yeah. All right. It'd be a terrible band, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'd, be, we'd be suck. We'd be really know. good at what we do, but we'd all be, we'd be terrible music. <laughs> <laughs> well. I don't, I mean, guys, if you want to see that happen, I know Archie's not really on board with this <laughs> shit, but I mean, if you, if somehow in God's honest universe, this is going to happen, you know, whatever that happens, but man, that would be a very, I like that. I like that choice, you know, cause it's, it's a little out there, you know, people kind of, I feel like yeah. some people kind of stay in the pocket, which I appreciate. There's been some ones that have been like, yo, I don't know why this is in a band yet. Cause that would be wild. But this one, I feel like. I feel like this one is just weird enough that I, I think it might work. So I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give it yeah. the I'll give it the C, you know, the grade of C right now. You know, it's like it's, it's very pass it's very passable. You know, it could work. I'd, so. have, to, I'd have to hear a track to get. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god! But the next question, Archie. Um, another fun one uh were you speaking on the whole instrument aspect of things if there were since you're the vocalist of immerse if there is another musical instrument you could pick up on what would you like to pick to learn so i already i already can play the full band so i can play guitar bass and drums as well Very but cool. i'll do it i'll do it as like uh like a what one i would like to like be better in fair enough and i think i definitely i'd love to be better at the drums than i am like I watch my drummer, like my I don't I think my drummer Josh is a very. If we ever made it to a point where like we were like known globally as a band, I genuinely think my drummer Josh would become probably one of the best drummers in our era of music. Like That's awesome. he is. I watch him drum, and it's like, it makes me less confident about my ability to drum <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sat there watching him going like shit this guy's like good he's tight he's got good gear he knows what he's talking about like <laughs> man it's almost like he's a drummer <laughs> like, i'm just sat there going like shit like when i was a drummer i didn't know how to do any of this stuff like he's like yo he's religiously like warms up he just like does his he gets his little drum mat out and he does like paradiddles and stuff like that. he just fries them and he can just do it and like for me I, I'm, I'm all over the place man like I, i'd say 
yeah, like I'd a hundred percent say I'd like to be better at drums for sure. Like after watching Josh, uh, Josh drum for years, I'd, I'd love to be better at drums. Yeah, there we go. Shoutouts to Josh. I will say, in the chemo, the song Chemical, um, he is dumb in the park in the pocket. Like he is on point. Like I am also not a drummer, but I can respect the game. You know. Uh, yeah. and my God, he's got, yeah, he's got some, he's got some good ones. I'm hoping he really just kind of like, just lets off an, another track where he just goes fucking like nuts, well, you know? That's the thing. He, he tones how good he is down a lot for our music because he understands that like, you can be the best drummer in the world, but no one wants to listen to you shred for three and a half minutes. You know what I mean? Like, no, you, fair have enough. Play, you have to play the song and like play to the music. So, but he's, that's the best thing about Josh is like, he's not just a drummer that is good and is exceptional at his instrument. He understands where he needs to be in a song as well. And Mm -hmm. that's like, that's a talent of its own is knowing where you need to be as a musician in a song and where you need to like, where you need to show off and where you just need to be there. You know what I mean? Supporting it. And he's he's, he's exceptional. Yeah. He's exceptional about that kind of stuff. Like, you can't fault him, to be honest. No, I, I totally, I totally respect that, and you know, or my salute, Josh. But um, I kind of, this is how I like was so thrown aback about like holding absence because I saw them and their drummer, like on the song, he's like, you know, he's got, he's in the pocket, like he's killing it, he's killing it, and then I just saw them live. It might, like, this dude must have been on some sort of drugs or some shit because he is going off. Like, he, like, the some of the fills he did, like, it was just insane to me. Like, I didn't know how he was able to still be on time and still hit it so well and still, like, make the song just, like, that much better, li- uh, better of a live performance. So, yeah. I gotta give him kudos. That's just been like that since the day he was drumming when I when well the day I've seen him in Olden Absence because then like obviously you guys have seen him and he's got like now he's got like shorter hair. No, he uh, had no he, he had long be... he has he had like a fucking like like he had long hair. Like he had like a bun up at the top. Yeah. So when when he first started playing in Holden Absence, if you watch that early videos, he had like kind of like Claudio Sanchez hair. Oh, he had, like, like wavy. Oh, yeah, 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 big. It was, like, almost, like, permy. And it was so good to watch him live because the energy that he had on top of his, like, just hair going everywhere on top of it, <laughs> it looked fucking sick. Like, like, you just saw, like, this big mesh of hair going mad. It's kind of like the drummer for um, Blackstone Cherry. I was like, going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Oh, my God. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, great watch. But shout-outs to him. Yeah, brilliant energy. Because he really, he really did he brought way too much energy and i respect him immensely for that because i i feel like i was exhausted just watching him do it and that i feel like that if you can yeah. if you can make your crowd look exhausted and you are still like come on let's go i, I need some more energy like that's a flex so shout oh, yeah. out to him and he does that every night as well so oh. fair play. it's not like it's a one off thing where all of a sudden he gets an energy boost he's like that every single time consistently <laughs> yes so fair so. play but- Shouts to them. But uh, next question, yeah. Archie, my personal favorite. I know I definitely asked you this the last time, but I'll ask it again. If you could be a video game character, who would you be? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> my love of gaming has grown more since we played. I was so going to say. Now as well. like, yeah. I'm a streamer and everything. Shout so like, Oh, my God. I'm not going to go with like a generic I'd, I'd say, like, I'd really love to be, like, I don't even play Apex Legends. I'd love to be Octane. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. like, not, I'm not going to go with, like, a legendary figure. Like, obviously, I could have gone, like, I don't know, Sub-Zero for Mortal Kombat. Sure, like, that's yeah. That's sick, you're wrong. Or, like, a weird one would be, like, Spyro. But I'd, like, something about being Octane would be pretty sick. Stim <laughs> 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 myself with adrenaline, run 100 miles an hour, pad down, gun. <laughs> oh my god that's great and you know go ahead and give a shout out to your twitch channel because i'll go give it a follow after we're done with this interview so that's it bro yeah so i stream um, i'm a twitch streamer under the name of bum and l <laughs> <laughs> great to, name you guys ever. i got drunk one night and i like i forgot the password for my old account and uh me and my mate my mate made a joke about this like word said bum and l like like f and l but like uh yeah so that became my new name, and it just followed me through. <laughs> <laughs> that is, 
that is grade A, grade A uh, <laughs> n- names here. So uh, yeah. go, I'll also leave a link. Go give Archie a follow on Twitch because as much as I love music, I am also very much a video game lover. So I have to, whatever, I mean, literally I have my Legend of Zelda like photo here in the nice. back here. So as just like a statement piece, but go check out, uh, go check out Archie's streaming stuff. Um, but Next question, Archie. Obviously, you're on here for music, so I have to continue asking the music questions. But if you were to compile a musical dream tour lineup, who would be on it? Obviously, your band included. I feel like. Ooh, yeah, that's a that's a good one. Um, I'd have to go with Four Years Strong. Nice. I'd love to tour with Four Years Strong. I feel like they'd be a great band for us to play with. Like a hundred percent. I think I actually, I think you asked me this last time, and I still said Four Years Strong then. Yes. And. Uh, they I'd have like, that yeah, staying I'm a power. Big fan of those. Yeah. Um, story so far. Uh, I'd have to go Biscuit as the headliner. I'd love to play with Biscuit. Ooh, I'd love this, is, to see... this is out there. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd love to see like Wes Ballum from the side, like just absolutely slaying it. And like you can't beat them for riffs. Like riff wise, he kills it every time. And then, oh, who else would I like? To... Yeah, I'm going with a five bander. So one more. Um. Oh, I'd have to go. I'd love. I'd love to play, and this is a really weird one. I'd love to play a gig with Panic at the Disco. Brendan Urie what? is like, he's one of my like. Brendan Urie is, I'd say, one of my all-time favorite vocalists ever. Fair enough. Like, yeah. I there's like I I yeah like I I fucking love his voice. <laughs> I love how creative he is with it. Like, would you listen to um, his uh, Emperor's New Clothes um, and you listen to, like, the vocal parts? There's, like, in one part, there's, like, 36 levels of vocal tracking just to create one thing. And it's, like, it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, I, yeah, I appreciate his voice so much. I sing to him a lot in the car. He's one of those people that, like, I always try, because I've always said, if I could get his range, oh, my God, I'd love it. So, like, I practice <laughs> the, his, his music quite a lot, like, to try and increase my range. He's got quite he's got quite the range and I feel like I have a lot more respect for him as a vocalist because uh, he did a feature on an every time I die track uh, yeah get which one it yeah, is yeah, yeah. but uh that one struck me so weird like I was just like how does he know like I mean obviously I know he's like a scene guy like a part of the scene yeah, yeah. but um I was like, man, why would he like that just seems like a weird combination so you know I've always respected him for that uh as an artist so i mean kudos to him for doing something like that because that's way i feel like that's way out of his pocket if i had to guess them yeah you know so we i was watching um i watched i don't know if you guys know about it we have a festival here called slam dunk yes i do so originally it used to be um a university in hatfield and uh, i went to watch it and panic at the disco were headlining and at the same time Panic at the Disco were headlining, every time I die were headlining the other stage. What? But they were the stages were like like round the corner from each other. So if okay. I'm sat like looking at the stage, the next stage was like just round the corner behind it, but like far enough away that you couldn't really properly hear it. Good mix, yeah. So I was watching Brendan and he stopped his set and went, Oh, is that every time I die are playing right now? And then he started screaming part of every time I die, like just down the mic and that. <laughs> and it, he was insane. He was so good at it, honestly. It was amazing to watch. Like you could just switch in from having this like mad voice to like just dropping these heavy vocals. And it was great because I'd never heard him scream before. Like I knew he had a powerful voice. And obviously I understand most people I think that have that much vocal control can scream. They just yeah. choose not to. Sure enough. So, but it was just weird hearing it from him. You know what I mean? Like it was. It just came out of nowhere. But everyone was loving it. And he smashed it. So he did a really good job. Oh my god. Well, I mean, that I feel like that is a once in a lifetime thing that you saw. So I'll. Yeah. That that's very sick. But yeah, that I I gotta I gotta respect the the Brendan Urie vocal. Like just his range is wild. So you know, kudos for you Incredible. to try to like. I'd love to. Oh, I'd love to be on the side of a show with him. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, also to. kudos to you for trying to like match his range because I feel like that that is a very difficult task. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the next question, Archie, um, another fun one. What is your favorite TV show? Favorite movie? Oh, Ooh. 
Um, okay. So, oh, that's hard. Because I watch a lot of, like, I watch a lot of different shows. Like, I watch, like, sitcoms. I, I'm really into anime and stuff like that as well. Um, yeah, I feel so that. I love it. I love Attack on Titan. I love Ooh. Attack on Titan. Still haven't watched the last season yet, so no, no spoilers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but I'd say, like, my all-time favorites, you guys probably haven't got this over there. We have a show called Peep Show. I've heard of it, like, though. I've heard of it. I can't explain. It. Yeah. So Peep Show. Oh, wait a minute. I think you might have froze. Do you freeze? Oh, no, no. No, you're, no. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, so I'd have to say either... A peep show uh or always sunny in philadelphia oh, as my nice. two shows i love always sunny man i, I love that i've what i think i've watched that whole thing at least 10 times through start to finish <laughs> i've watched always sunny like, I, I i can't get up that show i love everything about it so i'll say i'll say always sunny for my show and my all-time favorite movie that's a hard one because i love films i'm a big i'm a big fan big of films film. <laughs> yeah Big fan of him. Um, oh, I'm gonna go with a classic, and this is purely because it reminds me of like being a kid. Fair enough. There's a, there was a cartoon that used to be out years ago, and it was a movie called Fern Gully. And okay. it's like it's like it's one of those films that has a much deeper meaning. Like it looks like it's just a kid show, but it's all about like environmental disaster and stuff. Oh, but that's cool. not why I like it. I love that film because I used to watch it with my dad when I was young because oh, he nice. used to really like the film as well. So I'm gonna say Fern Gully. Like. Because it's like one of those ones I get mad nostalgia just sitting there watching it with my father and that. So I'm going with that one. There we go. I like that. I like that you threw the anime pick in there. I've just finished re-watching Evangelion again. And yo, I've watched shit. a couple of those. I need to get into it more, but I do definitely. It's it, definitely something I can vibe with. I will say watching... tw- towards the end, it gets real like it gets real fucked up. So yeah. <laughs> it's bad, uh, but it's good though. I've been trying to get my girlfriend to watch one called Food Wars, but she oh, just doesn't yes. like. Oh yes, I know. I have gotta start that. Mate, it's so good, but my missus just doesn't like anime, and I was like, <laughs> "This is not the one to bring her in on. <laughs> That's not the one." Like, no, definitely but, yeah, not. I tried to get her to watch it, and like first part of it, there's like a squid getting wrapped around a naked girl with tentacles <laughs> going by, and she was like, "What the fuck am I watching?" And I was just like. Oh, oh my god, god so that's cool. awesome oh my god yeah, but yeah that's the that's the one i just finished and then i'm trying to think what i'm re-watching now i was never really the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh fan but just because i'm a pokemon stan you know the, you got the squads you know but i wanted to re-watch Yu-Gi-Oh, so i'm re-watching Yu-Gi-Oh again and and it's been fucking sick yeah. um Dragon Ball Z as well. I'm Dragon Ball Z is classic. Yeah. Yeah. I got to watch the newer stuff. I want to watch like Super. I kind of watched a little bit of Super, but then I fell out of it. And then I just got to rewatch it again. My Hero Academia, I really recommend as well. Okay. And um, One Punch Man. One Punch Man I started, but I have to actually start it, start it. Because I'm almost yeah. positive. I like turned it on. I'm like, I'm going to watch this. And I immediately fell asleep. Like just went out. Oh, like okay. I don't know. I must have been that tired that I was just like, you know, I'll watch it. But that, yes, One Punch Man's on my list too. He, it just seems like so just outrageous. So, oh, it's so good. Anything, anything fight One Punch done. Because <laughs> <It's so, laughs> like, the thing is, as well, it's not like you can even expect him to like last longer than One Punch because <laughs> the whole thing of this show is the fact that he kills everything in One, <laughs> one Punch. punch. <laughs> So you hear these, like you've got this massive like monologue going on in this fight that goes on for like two and a half minutes, and then it's just and, the thing and he's done. Like we decided to go like I knew it was coming, but like, like I still didn't expect it. it <laughs> um, I will give you a recommendation to watch if you haven't checked yep. it. Uh, Kill a kill. That is. Oh, is that Akam Akame? Uh, I, I don't. I might I'm... watch this. It's good. Like it's on. Um, it's currently on HBO Max. I don't know if it's still on HBO Max or not. Um, but that one's awesome. That's like. Okay. It's like. It's kind of like Dragon Ball Z of Dragon Ball Z had swords. So. I, I think I might have watched this. Or a it's bit good. Of it. 
I think he's on our Netflix at the moment. I'll check it out. I'll, I'll, I'll double check. That one's a good one. I will. So, audience, that's what I would recommend. That is my anime recommendation. Guys, if you have some good anime recommendations, please drop them because I've been, like, I've always loved anime, been on a, always on an anime kick, but I need some good new ones. So, give me some yeah, good new yeah. ones. Uh, but next question, Archie, if you are trapped on a desert island for the next month and there was one album you could bring with you to listen to, what would it be? One album. Start to finish? Start to finish. Ooh, I'd have to go... Um, uh, I think it's These Things I Can't Change by the story so far, their second album. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one with, like, the guy's face on it and he has all the, like, vines and flowers and shit. Yeah, yeah, that one, that album. Yeah. Start, masterpiece, start to finish. I, I, I can listen to that album every single time. I'll never get bored of it. Every song on there's a banger. I'm, I'm cool with that. That'll do me. That is a, that is a classic, classic story so far record. So kudos to yeah. you. Um, but the last thing, Archie, I've been asking this to a lot of the bands I've been having on recently. Um, for those of you who have made it all the way to the end, I really appreciate you. Uh, please go check out Immerse, as I'm sure you have already done. But um, if you need a more selling points, here's the last one. Um, Archie, you know, we we always talk you know i'm always big on you know talking about artists and like you know their start and stuff like that but at the end of the day people go and they'll go check out your music um what do you want people to take away from immerse whether it be from like a lyrical aspect a musical aspect or kind of a combination of the two um what do you want people to know about like what you write about you know and you know how that kind of you want to share with other people see i'm quite like I'm I'm a weird one with this because <laughs> a lot of people always say like as a vocalist who writes melodies, um, they always say the same thing and that's like I really want people to connect with my lyrics and like stuff like that. And I do, I do want like don't get me wrong, I love it when I see people connect with my lyrics. Sure. But I more just want people to enjoy it. Like that's it. I just like whether they whether they connect with the guitars, they like the riffs, they like the energy. They like the feel of it. They like the lyrics, the melodies, whatever they want. I just genuinely just want people to to vibe with what we vibe with, really. Like to just enjoy it, to check it out, show like sit there with their friends. Like I want it to be. I want our music to be one of those things where like people put it on in the background while they're like having drinks with their yeah. friends at a house party and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like that's what I want out of our music. Like that thing that you can. You can sit there and put on on a road trip or you can sit there in your room listening to it when you're just chilling and that's what i want i just want people to enjoy it basically that's... do what you want with it just have fun listening to it <laughs> and that's fair like i feel like you know people have that like grandiose idea that like you know lyrically it has to be like you know you know you want somebody to connect to your music and i mean that is you know that's a good way to have it that way but also, at the same time, I feel like, you know, it equally has to be fun, enjoyable, something you listen to. You know, there's yeah. certainly songs that are sad and are meant to be sad and are meant for you to feel those emotions about being sad. There's also songs where, you know, just want to have that good energy, that good vibe, that fun, yeah, exactly. you know. So I feel like you guys kind of hit that nice straddle point between like having a good time. But also, I mean, lyrically, I feel like you because I even check the lyrics out too. Like, you know, I feel like you guys talk about some really important things that, you know, need to be talked about. So, you know, yeah. if you like both of those things, Immerse is the band for you. But if they uh, can reach out to you in any way, Archie, you know, where can people find out about Immerse? You know, what you have coming up, any sort of like merch, things of that nature, you know, any sort of plug you want to talk about, where can they find you at? Yeah. So, literally, I think the only social media outlet we aren't on is Twitter, and I really saw that out. But yeah, Facebook, <laughs> um, Instagram, uh, like Spotify, we're constantly putting new music up on that. And you've got like a little info section now where you can add like tours and stuff too, which is Very great, cool. great addition. Yeah, like um, I'd say I'd say Facebook and Instagram are the two easiest ways of checking us out and staying current. We actually just dropped a new t-shirt yesterday as well. Probably one of my favorite designs, like great new tea. Like, so yeah, if, if any of you want to pick that up, feel free to. If not, yeah, just, just follow us on our socials, Facebook and Instagram. That's the best way, 100%. There we go. Well, 
before I do the plugs, uh, huge shout outs to James for setting this up. Big love to James. He's always killing it. But um, if you want to check out Immerse, all of the links will be in the description to find out about their band, music, merch, Spotify, things of that nature. Uh, please go support Immerse. Uh, they just released a new track called Chemical, which we talked extensively about. So I'm really excited for what they got going on next. And um, if you live in the UK, I'm sure that they'll be playing in a city near you. Uh, unfortunately, it'll be a little bit longer for myself living in the States. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going to hold out hope and say that it's not going to happen. But I, I very well hope that they make it over here to, you know, cross the pond. Um, but uh, uh, if you enjoy this content, you like what I do here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It goes a long way. And uh, huge thanks to Archie for coming on and talk, talking about Immerse. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me on.